Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is a brand new episode of Forgotten Spider-Man Rogues and I hope you enjoy. Mindworm, aka William Turner, is one of the saddest Forgotten Spider-Man Rogues I've ever seen. He first appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man issue 138, November 1974. Peter Parker has been kicked out of his apartment and is now living with his old high school bully, Flash Thompson. There's a figure watching Peter Parker arrive called the Mind Worm. He is interested since he gives off more emotions than many. That night, a strange presence is pulling everyone to an old house in the middle of nowhere. Spider-Man is able to resist though and investigate. This is when we learn of Mindworm's tragic past. He was born with an abnormal issue and was considered a freak. Accidentally with his powers, he caused the death of his parents. At the orphanage, he was picked on until he learned to control his powers and make the kid stop. He didn't want to be bullied ever again, so he ran away to an abandoned house, somewhere he can maintain his powers in peace. Spider-Man busts in and then confronts the Mindworm. Mindworm uses all of his power to try and control Spider-Man, but Spider-Man miraculously resists still. And Boom Baby bounces Mindworm around the place, beating him up. The final blow comes when Spider-Man slaps his ears together and causes a ringing in the Mindworm's own head, causing his control to break. Everybody is broken from Mindworm's power and Mindworm whines about not wanting to be alone. His second appearance was in Spectacular Spider-Man issue 35. Mindworm is after re for revenge on Spider-Man. Mindworm causes Spider-Man to do things he would never do, usually. Soon, Spider-Man traces this force back to an old house, but strangely, it's not supposed to be there because it was torn down for some high-rises. It was the Mindworm who has been messing with Spider-Man's head and making it seem like his old house is still there. He reveals that when he was let out of prison, he was treated as a freak and was still alone. Now, he wants revenge on Spider-Man for not leaving him alone. At the end, Mindworm remembers his parents and starts to break down, regretting his hand in their death. He lets Spider-Man go and in the real world, Spider-Man tracks him down to a hospital. When Spider-Man gets there, Mindworm is in a bed and he lets Spider-Man in on what he has changed for him, even calling Spider-Man a friend in the end. He made a cameo in the second part of the famous Flowers for Rhino story in Spider-Man's Stangled Web issue 6. He was with the kangaroo, and Rhino busted them out to commit crimes for him behind the scenes. His last appearance ever was in the spectacular Spider-Man 2003, issue 22. William Turner, the mind worm, is now homeless. Peter Parker sees this and recalls the last time he heard of mind worm, he was in Ravencroft. He was never really even anything more than a lightweight foe. Seeing the Mindworm haunt Spider-Man, he's always measured himself on the big superpowered threats, but this one guy, the Mindworm, has been on his mind a lot lately. The Mindworm is all alone, and now it's like he's waiting for death, and maybe for no good reason. When Spider-Man goes to check on Mindworm again, he sees that there are unconscious bodies in the streets because of neural energy. Some punks are bullying Mindworm, and, well, Mindworm loses it and his powers go wild. Spider-Man tries to save everyone and ends the situation, but one guy hits Turner while running away, seriously injuring him. Injuring William Turner to death. And that was all of it. Yep, Mindworm was only ever in four issues. Mindworm is a cool looking villain. His powers may not seem so great until his last appearance when he makes people hallucinate giant creatures and such. The previous times I liked the storytelling with Mindworm more than his fighting. Mindworm is very interesting to me. In his second appearance, he kind of reminds me of the Mad Hatter from DC. A very small forgotten Spider-Man rogue, he has stuck in my mind ever since I first saw him. With everything said about the Mindworm, thank you all for watching. Bye guys, and have a good day.